Hello guys, today we are discussing about introduction to VLSI design. Uh, with this particular design is nothing but the billions of transistors and billions of logic gates, how it can be implemented and integrated in a small single tiny IC. The design by means of which we do so, we call it as VLSI design and the technology by means of which we achieve this, we call it as VLSI technology. Moving ahead with the VLSI designing of evolution, it is nothing but the graph which uh, discuss about the basic history, and the journey, how it started in the year of 1947 from bi first bipolar junction transistor to billions of transistors. Evolution of integration level of IC. Now this particular slide clearly depicts that it started its journey with a very single transistor to design that particular thing in a single, single IC or single chip in the year of 1958. With the advent of technology, how we have also seen that how the number of transistors in the right column, it is uh, finally it's getting increases like anything and it ended up to maybe more than 1 lakh to 10 lakh. That is nothing but 1 billion of transistors also can be implemented in a small single IC where the area is goes remain same and the number of concentration gradient of the number of transistors is following increases level. In the year of 1950 to 1989, we have seen that how the single transistor goes to monolithic IC and finally it goes through the level of scale integrations that is small signal integrations, then small, then medium, then large scale integrations and finally ended up with VLSI and MiVLSI. This is the graph that clearly depicts that how the, in, in the invention of technology, how the number of transistors actually it is get, getting increased and you know integrated in a small single IC. This particular graph, it clearly depicts by that and it has invented by Moore. We also call this thing as Moore's law, which clearly depicts in Y axis is number of transistor, that is the concentration gradient or concentration of the transistors, following with X axis this is nothing but the time. It started with the invention of basic microprocessors, then finally 8085 to 8086, followed through the Pentium processors and then dual code to code to duo to infinite processors or infinite series which is nothing but the real applications of VLSI design. See now this is the very basic important thing of introduction to IC technology that is we do how there are the following steps that has been invented in IC technology. It started so it's nothing but the substrate and the substrate can only be done by using silicon. Now why silicon is because due to its abundance in nature. As it is clearly understandable that it is already available and deep under the soil, so it can be you know, taken care of by using some uh, exposure techniques by purification, it need to be purified and followed by that particular purification, it need to be slotted in number of wafers. The width of the wafer is nothing but maybe of 5 to 10 amps strong and finally while going through it, this is how the ultimately the cutting of the silicon bar has to be done. The slight little phases we call it as wafers need to be followed through 20 to 30 odd steps which is nothing but oxidation, photoresist, etching, diffusion, ion implantation, metallization, packaging and bonding. Once the whole process need to be done we call it as pattern and this particular wafer is termed as pattern wafer. Finally this pattern wafer need to be tested, we call it as VLSI testing to separate the dye which are faulty. Once we achieve these faulty dyes need to be separated out and finally before bonding and packaging the real uh, dyes need to be taken care of, finally bond and packaged before testing and launching to the market. The major important in VLSI design is nothing but the sizes that is smaller physical size, high speed need to be achieved, low power consumption that is also all together so area, power, speed and finally the reduced cost. If you take so this is nothing but the types of integrated circuits. The types of integrated circuits are basically disaggregated in number of substrates, devices, number of basic individual signals may be analog, digital, mixed or RF signals and depending upon the applications. There are the following types which is nothing but silicon, gallium arsenide, silicon germanium and in this particular slide it is clearly mentioned that how individually the steps has been categorized for CMOS and by CMOS and MESFET. In the next slide we will discuss about the remaining part of this particular thing of uh, tutorial of introduction to VLSI design. Thank you.